Hi all, this is Damon from Windhill Growers, uh, back again in the greenhouse to show you how to turn IMO2 into liquid IMO, uh, which we'll use for foliar spray for the plants or soil drench or other applications. So to do that today, we have this nice restaurant sieve. You can use any kind of a sieve you like, but this is kind of makes life easy because it's huge. Um, these are about 20 bucks and it's worth it if you're doing a lot of Korean natural farming, which is a lot of filtering. Uh, we have some cheesecloth, we have a measuring cup, and we have our IMO, we have the pot, and we have the jar. Um, and then we'll show you how to use these uh, lovely silicon fermentation caps for a wide mouth jar and how to use it to dilute for your plant spray. We're going to take our cheesecloth, which we have a ton of, yeah, that's good. And layer that into the sieve. Mind the breeze. May I kiss the bride? <laughs> a couple of clothes spins are nice if you want to kind of secure your cheesecloth so the breeze doesn't take it. So yeah, basically we're just pouring this through. Place it in your sieve and then, yeah, just squeeze it out. You can, uh, might be good to use a couple layers of cheesecloth here so you can get a good squeeze. So this is what we've got. I uh, thought we'd be, I thought there'd be more, but uh, actually quite a bit left in the rice. Um, the rice is a great compost starter as well. Um, um, you can use the liquid IMO for a compost starter as well, but um, it's a great compost ingredient. One of the things I like about the Korean natural farming, all the ferments, is how they're really beautiful to work with. Like there's anaerobic ferments you can do. Um, and they just smell terrible. They're awful to work with. But every step of the Korean natural farming process is like, it's like brewing a good beer or meat or something. It's like, this stuff uh, smells amazing. This can be kept for, uh, well, indefinitely. And you just need to add, if you keep it more than a month, you need to add 20% by volume of sugar uh, every month or so to keep it active. Uh, give the microbes something to eat. You could just click, cap this with a regular lid and just leave it loosely on so that the ferment can still bubble some, but no insects or dust or anything get in. We, however, have these lovely silicon fermentation lids, and uh, there's a link for those in the comments. Um, so check them out. They do make your life uh, super easy if you make a lot of ferments. We do tons of kimchi and sauerkraut, as well as all the fermented plant extracts and IMO. So definitely worth it. They're pretty cheap. Uh, so that's that. Um, this is how we would store it. And now I'll show you how you can use it on your plants. We have a one liter spray bottle here. And so the ratio here is going to be 250 to one for a foliar spray. So we're going to use four milliliters for one liter of spray. Um, you can also use an emulsifier um, for this. So sometimes we use uh, Castile soap and that'll be at one tablespoon per gallon. Um, but today we're just going to use the IMO. So you get that nice and mixed in. So here we go. These fo this foliar spray is excellent against fungal pathogens. The bane of cannabis growers like botrytis, bud rot, and powdery mildew. So we're creating a 
uh, microbial ecosystem. Just a note on foliar spraying of your plants. You want to be spraying primarily the underside. So what I go for is at least 70% coverage of all of the foliage, top and bottom. Uh, more, is, more is better, so be generous with this stuff. Also, it's a really small dilution, so, uh, and it's a practically free implement for your, uh, for your garden. So yeah, as you see that I'm, I'm really trying to get the underside completely. That's where the stomata of the plants are. And so therefore where we get the most benefit. Um, this is also gonna have like, um, it's gonna have some sugar, which uh, the plant is going to enjoy, I think. So you can give your plants uh, an IMO treatment once a week and they will love it. Uh, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here, Please like, please subscribe. Um, it really helps us out and allows us, uh, gives us the momentum to make some more content. Thank you.